Good morning guys, so today we're going to talk about trigger warnings as a new study just came out of Harvard covering trigger warnings. It's actually a replication study, but it's an interesting conclusion they draw, so I'm going to talk about it. I don't actually have the study here, this is just movie magic, but this, this is a, maybe an allegory for the study itself. Basically, Harvard concludes they, if anything, either do nothing or do slightly more harm than good, and that they, re they don't reduce anxiety, but induce anxiety for the reader after they've read a traumatic piece of content. So they use a big word, I don't, I, this is them, I'm quoting Harvard, they use the word counter-therapeutic, and that the thesis is that trigger warnings do not do anything, but they tested to see, like, do they reduce anxiety levels to, for people um, after they've read some sort of traumatic content? And the reality is they don't. If anything, they surveyed the, the, the sample size that they did, which I believe was around 500 people that had either been diagnosed having PTSD or you know, self-identified as having some sort of post-traumatic stress disorder. And they found that those that were given a trigger warning and then surveyed after reading the traumatic content actually had higher anxiety levels or none at all. So that in reality, there was either no benefit to trigger warnings or a slight detriment to having a trigger warning. But there's actually two interesting key facts about this study that to my mind are more important. Why am I reporting on it? Well, it kind of confirms a long-held suspicion I've had on trigger warnings and that they're kind of some new age science nonsense that doesn't hold up to any evidence. Now, I will grant you, I haven't actually looked into the study and read every single part of it. It's a long study and uh, it, it, you know, it's interesting. I, <laughs> I find I cannot be bothered to really dig down into the science of things I agree with as much as I can when a scientist arrives at a conclusion I disagree with. So, yes, there is a bit of confirmation bias there, and perhaps the scientists could have used faulty methodology to, you know, confirm their thesis, but we'll, we'll run with it. Harvard published this. So, hypothetically, it should be conclusive and legitimately, at least. But the two key takeaways are this. Those that were given trigger warnings prior to the traumatic content were the ones that then afterwards were more likely to identify with the trauma in their lives, meaning they were more likely to then see trauma as part of their identity. That traumatic moment became part of their identity. And that's actually not good for mental health. And they also, the second part, so, you know, shows you how useless trigger warnings are. The second part that I find even more fascinating is the human psychology. And that in reality, the normal human psychology is one of resilience, that the mind is normally resilient. That's not the anomaly. The anomaly is the one that gets, you know, something tragic happens in their lives and then gets marred psychologically with it forever. But the average, which should be good and, and optimistic for most people if you have encountered something traumatic in your past or inevitably may in the future, life is full of capricious traumatic events, is that the average is resilience. The human mind is resilient. And for most people across the population, they overcome whatever traumatic injury or event happened to them and that not only do the trigger warnings not really do anything it's because for the most part the human mind is miraculously good at recovering from traumatic events and so it's important to remember that like the norm is resilience like you'll you will get through this the trauma does not define you it's important to remember that because if you're told trauma is part of you then you start to identify that trauma as your identity and that can have long-term negative mental health effects on you so those are the kind of two important takeaways that I found actually more interesting in the study rather than it confirming perhaps my suspicion. Anyway, if you found this moderately interesting, you can click here for another video. Like, subscribe, make a new video every day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.